Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. So, we are chasing down the usurper Valentina and her henchmen down this hallway and try to avoid getting in too many fights. Gino, take care of my light work, please. Yeah, we're going to be using Gino a lot in this hallway. Oh, that did not do much damage. These guys must have magic resist. Okay, well, we will revise our strategy then. Oh, please don't take out my healer. Oh, good. Are they all going to cast this freaking spell? Okay, no, we got some... Okay, so these guys are apparently resistant to magic. I wonder if these guys are like an offshoot of Shy Guy. Peach might be down for the count. No, she's still alive. Okay, group hug. Uh, do I got anything in the items? Nope. All right, we're doing this the old-fashioned way then. Kaboom, kaboom! The monster is stunned. Neat. All right, one down. So yeah, okay, these guys need physical attacks. I'm really glad that Peach is a decent healer in this game. <laughs> so, I was trying to... I'm trying to remember what I was reading, watching on YouTube. I don't remember. But someone had a fair criticism of most of the Mario games. And I might have already talked about this. I don't quite remember. That the only... No, it was... Okay, I remember. It was Josh Scorcher... The Fiery Joker, I remember now. Talking about how he did his... It was his list of introductory RPGs. Like, oh, here we go. And he put the first Paper Mario on the list. I don't remember where. And he talked about how Paper Mario was the most Mario of the Mario RPGs. And people even, you know, he even acknowledged... A lot of people cite that Thousand Year Door was a better game. And it might be, but... And I'm rambling here a bit, but just give me a second. Let me get my tangent. He said that Paper Mario was the most Mario. It had the most Mario characters, and any original characters fit perfectly fine within the Mario's world. And that most other Mario RPGs, you know, Super, you know, Super Star Saga and everything that stemmed from here, and this game, and what was it? Later Paper Mario's kind of started doing their own thing. Just adding a bunch of stuff and having Mario characters kind of be there. I've had some time to think about that. I can't say I entirely disagree. That being said, I would love to see more in this particular version of Mario's World. Like many fans, I would love a proper sequel to this game. And I do mean a proper sequel, not like a... a half-hearted half effort. If it were. Oh, dang nibbit. And this is why we have Gino. Gino, whirl on the fat guy. And he's down. Crystal. Ow. These guys hit hard with their magic. All right, Peach, time for another group hug. Wow, we are burning through fire flower points like nobody's business. Waboom, waboom. The monster is stunned. Okay, we'll take out the other one then. The monster is stunned. Caution, confused monster. Oh, okay, cool. Smeg it! Ah, oh, and because I try to ask in every video, how is everyone doing today? Doing all right? I'm doing pretty good. Bowser's reached level 16. I'm doing a far side better than I did yesterday. Um, as I'm recording this, this is going to come out like two months after I record it or something like that. I don't know what my buffer is sitting at right now, but, uh, let's see, special attack, okay. let's do HP. But, um, that, yeah, star, we need to hurry, because if we catch up to Dodo, we can take him out. Yeah, we just took out a boss with a star man. <laughs> and I think that's pretty cool. No, no, I'm doing 
better today than it was yesterday because at the time of recording, I, um, we had a bit of a snowstorm here. Speaking of which, here's a blizzard. And yeah, it was like really damp, wet, like near end of winter snow. And I live in an area where it snows in March, so. And I spent pretty much my entire day with my little electric snowblower just clearing out my driveway enough that we could get the car in and out without getting stuck. So I'm tired and I'm sore. I got a little break to come back in and recharge. I have an electric snowblower, so I had to come back in and recharge the batteries on the thing. But wet snow is apparently a lot harder. And I'm rambling about it at this point. I just, it's my outlet. This, it's my outlet. Oh, I am. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and use a maple syrup. And we got a freebie. Neat. Smashy, smashy. Yeah, cool. We took out a boss with the Starman. And I, yeah, so I'm tired and I'm sore, but, you know, I accomplished my goal. Made it through the snowstorm. Ah, we'll come to that later. Bye. Ah. Hot springs are up ahead, but only the loyalty are out to be there, and you don't look very royal. Alright. Now we're back in Nimbus Land proper, but before going there, um, I'm going to go heal elsewhere. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go to Monster Town. Go ahead and use this. They're going to yell at me for not wearing their ghost metal, but oh well. I got my drinky drink. Hmm. Now to remember all the different voices. He's not wearing our metal. Don't forget what we told you. Okay. They didn't speak individually. Cool. Yeah, I just wanted a quick refresh. And how are we doing on items? Got some mid mushrooms. They recover 80 HP, which is probably more than sufficient. Honey syrup, two royal syrups, and a maple syrup. I got that seed. The goodie bag. We're doing okay on coins. Yeah, it's so easy to get coins in this game. It's ridiculous. Table juices. Uh, pure water. Not that I'm facing anything undead at the moment. Okay, so we're good for the moment. Yeah, there's a boss fight coming up. And uh, the moment you get back into Nimbus Land. So. I just want to make sure we were all healed up. And had all our items. And here we go! Boing! Oh, sh shoot. I forgot to change my party. Ah, oh well. I wanted to put Mallow in this party for thematic, but... Ah, uh, we'll, we'll learn to deal without. Oh yeah, they're asking, oh, What's the status on the queen? And the, on the king? And how is his wife the old queen? And uh, Tubby, uh, Prince Mallow, uh, where is he hiding these days? You know what I think? I think. Get out of here. The truth is. Get out of here. The truth is. You know what I think? I think. Ugh! Pipe down, all of you. I have better things to do than listen to your half-wit opinions. And look, while I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter, Mario has managed to find me. Dodo? Dodo? Oh, that bird has a permanent brain cramp. Dodo, do you hear me? Get over here now. I need some help entertaining Mario. Now, be prepared. This is probably one of the more disturbing character models in all of this game. So move it. Come on. Here, now. He's just ready with that fist. And there she is. She looks like some bizarre Muppet reject. Why is she wearing a parrot on her head? Don't just sit there, help me! And Dota's gonna carry off Peach. Because he always grabs your middle party member and flies off. That's okay, Peach is my healer. She can take care of herself. Maybe. 
whackety whack. Okay, time for a heal. Therapy! Smack him! Yeah, 1v1 me, bro. Uh, smack him. If I die, I die. And I'll just come back. Oh no. Ooh, now we use that heal. I am a living font of hit points. You cannot touch me. Let's keep it up. <laughs> this might be a bit boring here. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to smack him. Otherwise, you're going to be here all day. Ow. Wish I had an HP draining attack. That'd be perfect. Yeah, you can't mute the princess, buddy. I put an item on her. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. Missed the timing. Got it that time. Not that it helped that much. Okay, and we beat Dodo. He flies off. And the Pete, <laughs> the princess. All right, now we got these two, these two against Valentina. Valentina is a mage, so we're going to Mega Glove. Blizzard. Yeah, we're gonna Geno boost the party since I forgot to swap out party members anyway. All right, Geno boost on Mario. Attack and defense up. Whoop I am, whoop I am. And more magic. Can't wait to get Peach back. Hmm. Alright, uh, Gino. Gino boost on yourself. There we go, some nice stat boosts to help hurry this along. Gino's probably going to use a mushroom. Yeah, we'll go ahead and drop a mushroom on him. But just a mid-mushroom. Nom nom nom. Whoa-bam! Crystal. Miss. Alright, Gino. Hand cannon! Like I said, hers is one of the more disturbing character models in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Toto? How could you lose already? Ah, well, come on. Get over here. Now, we're going to focus fire on Dodo, because he's a big physical attacker. Hello, Peach. Welcome back. Actually, let's do a group hug, since Mario's a little damaged, too. Alright, Mario. Take out Dodo. I was going to boost the princess, but you muted me, so... Ow. Group hug. This is so broken. <laughs> Come on. Ow. The timing is just... <laughs> Another flutter hush. Really? Okay. Light beam. Oh. Are you prepared for some sleep attacks? That's okay. That's what I got Princess Peach here for. And we're back. Kaboom, kaboom! Alright, Dodo is defeated. He's just sitting there panting now. Drain me! Alright, Gino. Let's drop a boost on the princess. Uh, let's do another group hug. Whoa, Mario throwing hands. All right, so we're good. We're good HP wise. How are we doing flower point wise? Well, we're down there, but we'll be okay. Boom. Go. 
Ooh, Peach got some decent damage going. Probably helps that she's a mage, though. Not particularly strong defense. Oh, Solidify. That's a cool attack. Ba ba bang! Warfan! I do like this uh, non-smithy boss fight music. And we beat her. I don't believe this. Well, the show's over, folks. Dodo, let's get out of here. Well, everyone, until we meet again. <laughs> T looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. 200 coins. Well, I've officially capped again. Oh, great. They're gone. Let's go after her. I know she still has the key. Bonk. Hack. <laughs> oh. Huh? Mario, look. He runs in to go release his parents, and Mario being prepared. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a drink since it's raining. <laughs> and there we go. He nods. Alright, cool. Cutscene with the royal family. Mom? Dad? I'd like you to meet Mario. And my other travel companions. Hmm, I need a good voice, huh? I need a good voice. I can't just make him a copy of the Chancellor. Hmm. 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 I need a good kingly voice. I know. I got it. I say, how can we ever thank you enough? Yes, he's going to be my mock William Shatner. I'm Mallow's father, King Nimbus. Now for Queen Nimbus, uh, I'm just going to give her generic, just softer voice. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for looking after my dear child. Allow me to introduce everyone. This is Princess Toadstool from Mushroom Kingdom. Ah, I've heard so much about you. May I have your autograph? Don't embarrass Junior, dear. Oh, uh, never mind. And who is this gentleman here? Oh, it's kind of shaping and weird, this. This is Mario. He helped me from the start. I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't mean the Mario. Jumping Mario. Autograph, please. That's quite enough, dear. Okay, okay. Then, how about just showing me a little jump? A tiny hop will do. It's kind of evolving into like a mock walking. Boing! There we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Show me again later. Ahem. And who do we have over here? Oh, uh, this is Bowser, uh, the leader of the Koopa Troop. <laughs> oh, another famous person. This is just too much. I must have your autograph. Dear, behave yourself, please. No, not even a little scribble. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, I'm quite forgetting my manners. Well, who do we have over here? Oh, this is Gino, who I told you about before. Oh, yes, that... Story about the Star Street. How terribly awful. That's Star Road. <laughs> Sorry, I need to do the Gino voice. That's uh, Star Road. By the way, a little before Valentina took over, a large star fell into the volcano. You what? Mm, but the dreaded saw dragon inhabits the volcano. It's going to be tough getting a star out of there. Hmm, 
Perhaps all of you working together could handle the beast. <laughs> the sex, that's all over the place. Could handle the beast. Why, when I was young, I... Yes, dear. Now, once at the volcano, you find Hino Pio. He'll be able to help you. You be careful, Mallow. All right, Mom. I probably won't come back until after we find the star. Cool. If you have any problems, come straight back, okay? Son, you're just like me when I was your age. I'm proud of you. I don't know if that's a good voice for King Mallow Nimbus the First, but that's the one I'm sticking with. It's one I haven't used yet, so. Yeah, now you see everyone's been properly restored to their places in the castle. All the statues have been replaced with statues of the proper monarchy and all that fun stuff. So, cool. And the neat thing is if you missed anything in this area, you can come back in and there's no hostile enemies or anything. And now we're back outside. And time for a secret. Yes, there's an invisible walkway right here. And you remember Shy Away? Oh, oh, busted. What to do? What to do? I'll give you this fertilizer if you let me go. Okay. Received fertilizer. Dude just literally gave me a pile of poop. Bye-bye. Uh, we're just kind of standing out here in open space. There's nobody worried about this. Okay. But no, I need that because that unlocks the best armor and weapon in the game. And it's amazing. Boing. We'll jump into the volcano later. Bubbing. Because we're going to go get that. And that's going to facilitate a lot of stuff. So I'll probably fill this next section with a little bit of side questing, if that's all right with all of you. To Rosetown. Yes, we come back to Rosetown. And it's jazzy, upbeat music. Yeah, there's a new building here. We're going to go down a little pipe here. Maybe? Maybe? No? Okay. I need a good voice for this guy. Let me think. I've done the prospector voice. I've done the pirate voice. Hmm. Hmm. Good gardener voice. Oi! I'm the gardener! No, that's not going to work at all. <laughs> uh, probably just go generic old man voice. Hi, I'm the gardener. See that huge planter? I've spent many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer to fill it with, but with no luck. Uh, if only I could find him. I incredible. I can't believe it. He just kind of rambles on very quickly. I'm not going to try to read and keep up, so good luck to all of you. I'm with you, Mario. Hey, I wasn't finished yet. Well, that's my story. Say, will you let me have the seed? Um, sure. I finally have it. This is extraordinary. Egads, do you know what you have there? That fertilizer comes from the Shiaway clan. And he continues to go on and on and on and on and on. Yada, 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 yada. Bonk. Short attention span. Yes, you might say I have fertilizer on the brain. No comment. Will you give it to me? Sure, here you go. Oh, thank you. I finally have both the seed and the fertilizer. I'll try them out right away. I'll plant the seed. Then give it the fertilizer. All right, let's see what's going on here. Nothing's happening. And we get a little sprout. And then a beanstalk. Wow! This is amazing! And then he this is unreal. This is just like winning the lottery only without taxes. I mean, this is like falling on an airplane without air <laughs> You think it could use some more fertilizer? <laughs> Oosh! <laughs> Maybe not, huh? Alright, that's enough of this ridiculousness. I'm climbing the vine. Now, a lot of people are probably going to criticize. You're going to make a criticize me playing here. You're going to make an easy game even easier. Yeah. Well, 
Got a lazy shell. It's gonna speed up the game, what can I say? And Mario will not need another weapon for the rest of the game. And what's cool about the lazy shell armor is it can be equipped by anybody. I like to put it on Peach. Now, here's the downside to the lazy shell. It drastically reduces your attack and magic attack, but it gives you amazing defenses. So, there's that. Oh, I should swap back uh, for Bowser. Um... That's one criticism I have of this game. I wish it gave you a breakdown of like what immunities it gave you and stuff. For now, I'll keep the safety badge on Peach, just to give her like all-around immunity to stuff. <laughs> Those work pants, man, they do put in the work with that, don't they? Yeah, so we'll probably sell that fuzzy dress. And, yeah. Ba do 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 do. La da 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 da. All right, and we've got the best armor and weapon in the game. It won't completely trivialize the game because stuff is still level dependent, but it'll make life a lot easier. You know, while we're at it, let's go to Booster Pass because a path did open up a while back that we never did go and explore. See, a little little cave over here now. And there's a little just character thing. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> Golly, you're that famous Mario guy. If I beat you, they'll make me sniff at number four. If I'm lucky. Yeah, this guy would have been kind of a annoying side boss before. I'm not sure. Can I Geno Whirl you? I'm going to find out. Yes, I can. Goodbye. See, that would have been a fairly annoying side boss before. What? Now they'll make me take the training course all over again. We are here to collect, I believe, some treasure at the end of this little trail here. Here we go. Some flowers, a frog coin, and a Caro Caro Cola. Which is a whole party healing item for 30, I want to say. Boing, boing. All right, that's all I wanted here. We can leave now. Oh, green spiny. Yeah, regular attack should be enough. <laughs> Once again, and kill the killer carrots here. I might make a stop over in Moleville just to check something. <laughs> Lazy shell. Yep. It's a uh, Tubby Troopa shell, and it does amazing damage. But Mario is still limited by the number of turns he can take, so it doesn't trivialize the game entirely. And another Spiny. Uh, oh. You know, I think I can take out this Artichoker. Yep, there we go. Ow. Ow. Boom! Major overkill. Once again, yep, just to kind of... I wonder if it's programmed into the game or if you just do a certain amount of damage over that more enemies are prone to give you the once again flower just to speed up the fight. All right, we're getting out of here. Okay, to Moleville, because there's a shop that opens up... Here, yeah, the Mushroom Dude. <laughs> I don't remember what voice I gave him. Hi, it's good to see you again. I'll show you my inventory. Yes, I'm going to do the boat salesman from frickin' Monkey Island for this guy. A lucky jewel. It's sure to bring you plenty of good luck. I'll sell it to you for 100 coins. Sure. Nice doing business with you. Here you go. Item two, a mystery egg. I have no idea what it does, but it kind of grows on you, huh? It's yours for 200 coins. I think I'll pass on that one for now. That's all I've got for now. Dang, okay, so he does not have the princess's frying pan. I wonder if it's level based. Yeah, well. Boing. Then we'll go to Seaside Town to go grab, if I have enough coins, that screw ring. 
hangs out in the elder's house, right? The elder's house. Boingy boing boingy boing boingy boing 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 ba boingy 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 boing. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. Have you had a chance to accumulate many frog coins? Oh no, the Scrooge ring is uh fifty. I don't really need any of this other stuff. I mean, I might not end up with enough frog coins to grab it just in the course of regular play, so I might not ever get the Scrooge, because you don't really need it, just like you don't need the Lazy Shell. Is there any other side content that I need to do other than the music puzzle? I find that one tedious. Or the Yoshi race. I will go and do some of this stuff before the end of the game, simply for completion sake, like the secret boss in uh, Monster Town, or all the side bosses in Monster Town, realistically. I'll get those done, don't you worry. I guess we head to Nimbus Land. We're going to keep Gino in the party, because in the volcano there's some tougher enemies that Gino just makes very short work of. And now we have expanded flower points, thanks to finding those flowers from before. So, okay, here we go. Up ahead are the hot springs, but only royalty is allowed. And we have Mallow. Hey, you're the real prince. Sorry about the misunderstanding before. There's no way that fat bird could have been a prince, huh? Oh, no big deal. Anyway, do you think you could let us through? Of course. Go right ahead. Please enjoy yourselves, but be careful not to fall into the volcano. Ah! And what's cool about this is... This is a full heal. Danger. Beyond the cliffs is the volcano. Alright, here we go. Woo! Ah! <laughs> Alright, now we're in Barrel Volcano. And I dig them the music. Yeah, there's some buzzy beats or some variation thereof. We're going to try to actually avoid a lot of the fights here. Just for the sake of brevity. Otherwise, we will be here all day. Ooh, a flower. Nice. Three coins. Not that I need them, but yeah, we'll go ahead and collect them. Why not? Nope, here's one. Okay. What's cool about... Oh, yep, Gino. Take out the armored ant, please. Because I do not like dealing with those guys. Mario, jump! Why did that do no damage? Hmm. Weird. Wonder why that didn't do any damage. Whack. Whack. One damage. Weird. These guys apparently have an amazing defense. Even the lazy shell only does like four points of damage. Whack. Whack. Alright. This is tiring. You know? There we go. They need magic damage. How many flower points did I burn through? Uh, a not inconsiderable amount. How much does this do? Oh, Kiro Kiro is like a mega elixir. Nice. Sweet. Alright, cool. Nice little star bonus there. Sorry, I was focusing. Okay, we got a nice HP boost. Yep, we're going with the HP. Gina reached level 16. Yep, HP boost. Mallow reaches level 16. Poor Mallow, I haven't used him in so long. I meant to use him for the Valentina fight, but I spaced it. And that's my bad. Ah, blue spinies. We've had red, blue, and green. Oh, dry bones. Dry bones everywhere. Apparently I did not hit the dry bones. Alright, Gino Whirl. Alright. 
So these guys, huh? Well, try the lazy shell, I guess. That time it worked. Hmm, don't need to use my lucky jewel. Smackety smack. Gino, you got this. Mario, you got this. Okay, we got him, finally. <laughs> you have to whittle him down. Got a bracer, cool. Uh, sure. I'm just gonna pick the middle one. A tie. There we go. Oh, now we got dry bones. Chained Kong. Donkey Kong, why? And Vomer. What do I call a Vomer? Anyway, that's one down. Get him, Gino. Donkey, why? He's mad about being chained. There we go. Da -da 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 A pure water. Nice. Now let's get away from the dry bones. Oh, frog coin. I've forgotten how to get to that. Looks like we got to face these guys first. They got these pyro spears first. They got magic. Looks like they're using the regular attack for now. Okay. Ow. <laughs> That's the power of the lazy shell right there. Smacked it. Shoot it! There we go. Ow. Oh, no ow. Zero damage. Neat. Lazy show! Almost 300 damage and he's still standing. Smack you with a fan. For one damage. Yeah, Peach is not going to contribute a lot damage-wise anymore. But... Chasing me. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it. These guys are probably resistant to magic. I thought about just <laughs> using Geno Blast. But... And here we go. Fire magic. Block. And here we go again. These guys take a while to get through because they're so involved. Lazy show! That one's down. Let's do a group hug. Be shot with iron balls! Now we just got one left. Mario should be able to. Ow! Who figured a wooden puppet would be vulnerable to fire? Wanna fight these guys. I ain't got time for this. Got him. <laughs> so, I've talked about ice levels and water levels. What are your what is everyone's opinion on lava levels? Any strong opinions one way or another? Right now I have a pretty strong opinion of where they decide to put this isometric lava. Especially trying to get a hold of that frog coin. Jeez. Got it. Okay. Now we got it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. Here we go. Some classic Mario lava platforming here. Aha. I forget how to get up there. No. Actually, I think I know how to get up there. Hold on. Boing. Boing. We leave. Come back. And then, haha, rock coin. 
got that coin. Oh, wonder how you get to the other one. Yep. Oh. At least these guys are fairly easy to deal with. And camel! Ba -ba -boom. Incoming! Ow. 40 damage. I'm glad these guys are fairly easy to deal with. Just one jump attack, they're done. Uh, let's do a group hug. Yeah, you'll see that Peach's heals are doing far less. But that's okay. Because she's still a decent healer. She's high enough that the reduced healing amount doesn't really hurt us in the long run. Especially with Mario's vastly increased damage output. Holy cow. But yeah, I was asking, what do you what does everyone feel about lava levels in games? Any strong opinions? Overall, I like them okay, depending on if it's like instant death lava or if it's like just high damage if, as long as you stand in lava. You know, it, it, it really depends on the context of the game. This one is just a minor annoyance. Um, oh, that's right. We need you to take out the, the little skelly dude. Boom. And Warfan <laughs> for 20. Hey, she actually managed to do semi-decent damage. I messed up the timing. Donkey Punch! Bonk. There we go. Da -da 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 Alright, there's gotta be a way to get up there. Aha! There we go. Oh, more, more spinies. Ooh, a flower. And a frog coin. Neato. And a save point. All these lovely things. Hey Peach, how about some therapy for Mario? There we go. And I don't know if I need to use a syrup. We'll go ahead and just use a honey syrup for now since it's like 10. We'll go ahead and do a save because we haven't done one of those in a bit. All right, so we want this one, yes. Using proper save etiquette this time. This guy again. I'm gonna ignore you and just move on with my life. Because I got enough to worry about. <laughs> this guy we might not be able to avoid. Yeah, he's blocking the way. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I need to take out. So this is actually a two pieced monster. I'm gonna take out the body. And then the head should die on its own, I think. If I don't miss my guess. Eat, eat giant turtle shell. Yeah, it just dies. <laughs> yeah, if you do it in the reverse, the body becomes like a bomb and explodes. Peach reaches level 17. Uh, decent HP boost. Ooh, yeah, we're going for the special increase so that their healing keeps up. Ah! I didn't want to fight more of these guys. <laughs> Ow, throwing spikes at me? Bonk. Peach, can you finish him off? No. Okay, that's fine. Ba -ba -boom. Yeah. Getting some nice use out of Geno in this part of the game. I don't want to fight more spinies. I just want to go... Okay, here we go. Oh, another one. I might have to fight this guy. Nope. Yes. That's okay. Do we have enough for one more Geno Whirl? Let's do it. Boom! If anything trivializes most of the game, it's Geno Whirl. Let's see if the Lazy Shell can get off before they get their defense up. Yeah. Lucky! Sweet! And there's the Valor up, which means this guy is going to take forever to kill. Uh, how are we doing on flower points? We have ten flower points left. That's okay, there's a rest spot coming up. Got him. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Double your XP? Sure! Where's Yoshi? Wrong. We get no XP. None. Whatsoever. You'll get nothing. Good day, sir. 
That's okay. We just need the volcano dude out of our way. Oh, there's more enemies. And here's the rest spot. More coins. Not that I need them. <laughs> ah, I just don't want to come back here, so. Kino Pio. Hey there. Woo. I thought I heard footsteps. For a minute, I thought I was going nuts. I'm Kino Pio, and this place is a regular inferno. Come on, step inside. I don't know what this voice is. I just kind of gave it to him. Kino Mart. So yeah, this guy runs an inn, an item shop, and an armor shop. And what's really cool over here, you see two F-Zero racer models and an R-Wing from Star Fox. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, what's over here? Welcome to the item shop. Yeah, we're gonna sell some things. Uh, let's sell the Mega Glove. Why am I selling at max coins? Never mind. All right, let's grab some maple syrups. Maybe one more. Uh, some pick-me-ups. <laughs> I should probably sell some maple juices. Jeez. Party is refreshed during battle. Is that like a able juice, but better? Hmm. Sell items. I got a lot. Sell a couple of these uh, able juices. Yeah, we don't need more than like three at most. Yeah, three pick me ups, two royal syrups. I probably bought too many maple syrups, so let's sell a couple of those back. Let's sell one of these mid mushrooms, because I would like some room for other items. I really need to use this goodie bag at some point. Alright, uh, I think that's all we want out of this item shop, so let's go to the armor shop. Welcome to the inn. Oh, this is the inn? Yeah, sure. You staying? Great. I'll get everything set up for you. <laughs> Sleeping on boxes. Morning. Wasn't that a cushy bed? Yeah, hardwood is a great bed. Welcome to the armor shop. Okay, now we can actually upgrade some people's stuff. De a determined person's shirt. Fire shirt, fire pants, fire cape, fire shell. See if that's better than the work pants. We're not going to bother with the fire dress because she's got the lazy shell. So let's equip. Nice defensive bu buff. Nice defensive buff. So his defense and magic defense go up, but his attack and magic attack go down. It's a, it's a considerable buff to at least his magic defense, so I think we're going to go with it. Those work pants, they put in the work. What can I say? Fuzzy pants. Fire pants! Alright. Sell so weapons... Yep, sell it all. There we go. Alright, cool. Let's go and save really quick. Or, there's no save point over here. Okay, um, is it on the other side, perhaps? Hey, thanks for the help, dude. Yep, here's the save point. Alright, um... Hmm... We are about ten minutes shy. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode here. That way we can start off with a bang with fighting uh, Sar Dragon on the next episode. So, let's just go ahead and pause that. Yeah, so, yeah, we got a dragon fight coming up in a big old scary lava pit thing. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, we, we stopped a con game to get the throne of Nimbus Land, put the rightful prince back on the throne, and, you know, rescued his parents who are actually currently ruling but yeah saved a kingdom from usurpation we uh got the best armor and weapon in the game did a little running around grabbing stuff and yeah fought our way through the volcano we actually made great time through that volcano i was expecting to get tripped up a lot more by uh the random encounters but yeah you know yeah I, i've decided it's all the better that i'm saving the boss fight for the next because it's not just the star dragon there's more involved and all that but we won't spoil that for anyone who doesn't know so thank you 
everyone for joining me on this leg of the journey through Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I hope you're having a good time. And that's my phone. And hey, sincerely, I hope you're having a great day. I'll catch you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, why not consider subscribing? Just wander over to that little red button and click subscribe. Also be sure to click the bell so you get notifications. If you think your friends would like the video, feel free to share it. Also be sure to check me out on social media. Hope you're having a great day.